Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on shell scripting and uh, today we'll talk about the fundamentals of shell scripting. So the agenda for today is Linux shells. We'll discuss uh, briefly about what kind of shells are available in Linux, what shells exactly are and stuff like that. And then we'll move on quickly to learning the basics of shell scripting. First of all, here we talk about what Linux shells are. Linux has a kernel which is the core and uh, that kernel talks to the hardware but uh, the kernel doesn't understand the language uh, we users use so that's why there is a shell. Shell is the interpreter between the kernel and the user so the user types in commands for whatever he needs uh, and uh, the shell interprets them and then sends it to the kernel for execution. So this is how Linux system works. So shell is an environment in which we can run our commands, programs and shell scripts. So shell is very important for a shell script to run and it gathers input from you, the user and executes programs based on that input. When a program finishes executing, it displays the output. So this is simple. You write a command in the shell. The shell will uh, interpret it, execute it, and then give you the output. So this is how it works. And shell script, it is a series of commands. You say if you want the output of three, four commands, you want the listing ls, you want the date, you write date, you want the uh, something else, uh, you want to remove a certain file, you write rm and the file name. So if you want to do a series of commands, you can write them one after another and uh, that becomes a shell script and you run it and that runs those series of commands. So that is a shell script and the shell is the interpreter. Okay. So what are the types of shells? In Linux actually, since it is open source, it was being parallelly developed by a lot of contributors. So that's why we have a myriad of options in Linux. We just don't have one shell in Linux. There are many shells and you are free to install and use any shell you want. So there's the bone shell, the sh called normally sh shell. Then we have the corn shell, ksh shell. Some of the Linux distributions use KSH, some use SH, uh, some distribution use bash, born again shell. Then we have the POSIX shell, which was the primitive shell of the Linux when it was first introduced. And we have the C shell, which normally Unix distributions use. And we have the 10x C shell called TCSH. So these are various types of shells but we should be concerned about the born again shell because bash is the most famous shell which is uh, being uh, used by most Linux distributions nowadays because it is very advanced and very secure. So we will go ahead and do all our uh, scripting tutorials using bash and I recommend you to use this uh, shell in your Linux distribution by default you don't have to worry about that by default CentOS 7 and Red Hat distributions all have bash shell uh, as the default shell so bash shell scripts uh, are pretty robust and uh, pretty much uh, the latest ones latest in vogue so you should go with bash shell it is very advanced and there are lots of good resources available of, over the internet if you want to you know, learn more about the shell. So let's begin with uh, trying to write a shell script and understand uh, how it puts together a list of commands. Before we go ahead and start the shell scripting, uh, let me tell you, I have a virtual box running okay, with the uh, Linux distribution here and uh, what I will do is I will log into this uh, system using the SSH because that will make it more convenient. This is the shell from which uh, I will log in to that system. Let me put in the password. Yes, I have logged into the system. So this is a Linux system where I have installed CentOS 7 for Yes, this is a CentOS Linux 
system CentOS 7 so here we will try out our self scripting if you are using a Windows system you can install VirtualBox with Linux running on it and then simply you can do it this way you can just log into that system open up a terminal like this like I have done here if to open a terminal by now you know how to do that let me just tell you again you can go to applications and click on terminals okay or you can find it I think in utilities yes in utilities you can click on terminal and this screen will open and here as well you can start writing your commands and shell scripts so you can do it this way if you are using a Windows system for my convenience I am logging it through login through the shell I have in this Mac system so we are in the same system actually I have logged in to this virtual box okay so anyways you just need a Linux system to run your shell scripts okay and for uh, making things uh, very organized I have created a directory you too can do it uh, where I will store all the shell script we will be learning and creating for each tutorial so here uh, and I'll share you the all these scripts as well uh, along with the you know, video course you will get the shell scripts for your reference uh, but I insist that you should try writing all these shell scripts from scratch by hand if you just copy and paste scripts or read other scripts you are going to learn but you would not be very comfortable with scripting scripting is just like uh, swimming you can say you, you have to try it yourself to know what it is one can only guide you but only yourself you can teach it because this is programming so you have to try it in order to see the fun in it and understand so here we have a subdirectory fundamentals inside it we I have a, a series of shell scripts for this tutorial and uh, I'll first explain how to write a shell script from scratch like say we write a shell script hello world just the first shell scripts so let me first tell you before writing a shell script you should be very familiar with the, the vi editor or the vim okay so because in linux you get that editor out of the box and you can create your files using that uh, editor so we use that editor and uh, if you're not acquainted with the vim you should just learn the few basics uh, of the editor so I just write the editors name and the file name which we are going to create now see the extension for shell scripts you can in fact go without an extension because in Linux the file name doesn't make a matter uh, it will work as uh, if even if I don't give the extension but still for recognizing the file normally we use extensions for shell scripts like sh or the name of the shell bash or ksh or csh whatever it is so here we will write a bash script so let's name it vim hello world dot bash so now it will open a blank file and now before starting this let me just give you a few basics on using the vi editor if you don't know it yet uh, vi we just uh, vi or vim in case of that we just uh, open up the editor but uh, here normally when you open the editor you cannot type anything if you type anything it won't work so first thing you have to do is you get into the insert mode by pressing i you can see here in the bottom of the screen you get the insert option now if i type anything any random stuff we will be able to view it because now the system is in insert mode if I press enter it will go to the next line and then we can type more stuff okay and uh, more and more so this is how it works 
and once you are done with that you have to press escape you can see the insert mode goes away and then here you should go do a shift colon this symbol colon comes here and if you do w we will it will write the file same as control s which we do in files in windows so that will save the file so here we do w colon w to save the file and if you want to save and exit you write wq so that writes and then quits so this is how we save a file in vim you should get acquainted with that if you are not very comfortable you can write this file anywhere say you have windows you can use a very good editor called notepad plus plus you can download that notepad plus plus this is a very good editor for writing shell scripts uh, you can write your scripts there and then copy that uh, into your Linux system and then execute it but it is very good to uh, do it using Vim because Vim is the ultimate uh, Linux uh, IDE so you can use it to write your shell scripts and run it there so it is difficult to learn it in the beginning but you have to get acquainted if you're in the world of Linux so here we uh, first we write a shell script so we name it and open it using Vim so let's clear the stuff which we had tried out right now so for deleting lines here in VI you just do DD so it will really delete each of these lines so I did DD three times so three lines are gone okay so let's move on so now we have a blank file which we have entered now let's get into the insert mode by pressing I now here we begin the shell script the first line identifies which shell we are going to use to interpret the script so here I write slash bin bash because we are going to use the bash shell this line should be there in every shell script because it explains which shell is going to interpret it even if you don't put it it would run in the default shell but it is a very good practice to uh, announce the shell which is going to use it as the interpreter and now you might be wondering what are these symbols this is the path of the uh, shell so that is fine because bash shell is inside slash bin directory but this has a significance now let's get back to the slide to know more this is called the shebang okay why this because uh, it is called shebang because the hash symbol is called a hash you know and this symbol is called a bang okay so this is called a shebang it is actually the pointer which tells that uh, bash shell is going to use to interpret the script here in this example we have just sh so, uh, so the sh shell is going to be used as the interpreter so anyways we have this bash shell written here and one more important thing next you should begin by uh, writing a few comments and uh, as for what is the purpose of the script and uh, stuff like that so for menting you put a hash sign but not with this exclamation okay so if you put a hash sign in the beginning of any line then what happens that line is not executed it is just a comment to let people know what the purpose of the script is okay so here uh, we write that this is my first script to say hello so that is the purpose of the script here you can put other information like author of the script the company name if you're working for some company or whatever you want so author is here you can write your name and stuff like that so that part is done so we have commented the script and now here you can write the Linux commands the conditions whatever and uh, then the script is ready so here we just want to say hello to everyone so 
for that we use the echo command in Linux one more thing uh, to do shell scripts very well you should be very good at Linux commands. so try to use the man pages try to use the internet and learn more and more Linux commands as they come it's not going to happen overnight or uh, in a few days you learn lots of commands it doesn't happen that way uh, if you keep on using Linux you will be faced with different problems and start learning commands it's just like use uh, increasing your vocabulary in English so the we learn more and more words as we grow so that's that's how it happens in Linux uh, as well you learn more and more commands as you start using it more frequently but you should be knowing the basic commands and uh, that is enough for writing shell scripts you can always you know, refer to the internet uh, for knowing more and more uh, or even you can uh, mail us to ask questions if you're stuck somewhere we are always there to help you out and then uh, let's get back here so first we want to say hello to everyone so we write echo echo is the command to echo something or say something back uh, so we want to say hello so I put double quotes just to make uh, uh, that string is uh, a text string so that's why I want to ensure that everything works well even if you don't put uh, these quotes in this case it would work but let's put that as a good practice hello world if you want to write more you can do that again you write echo say in second line I want to put some dots like this that I can do say I want to do a third line where I want to write this is my first script so that also can be done so you can just like this lines after lines you can type and then uh, you can save the file and execute it okay so then let that be and in the last line uh, you can write exit so that exits uh, the shell means once you are completed the shell will include but that is not necessary here why because uh, see here we are running these three commands so once these commands are executed the shell will by itself exit out so exit is not required later on you will learn the cases where you need to exit forcefully from a script in case of loops and uh, other complex stuff you need that so we'll come back to it later on so here this is our first script so let's save it for saving as I said WQ write and quit another option is there you can write colon X and before that what did I do I pressed escape and then shift colon and then WQ so the file is saved if we do the listing we can see this is our file which we created right now so our file is ready but uh, if we execute it uh, it would not work why because as we can see that here this file has read write permission that's fine and read for uh, the group users and uh, read for the other users so this is not going to execute because it does not have the executable permission this X is not present so for that what we have to do first of all we have to put the executable permission for the file to execute so when you write a shell script you write it and then do this chmod plus X that makes the file executable and then the file name okay mm -hmm. 